No, it's not time yet. Are you sure? The stars are not aligned. That is that a joke? Okay, they're aligned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Let's Go. Was, was that a Mario joke Galaxy. that I heard from you? Super Mario Galaxy Part 35. You don't want to hear the stupid joke he just made, because he didn't know he was a joke. I'm K6 Scope. I'm Argon Matrix, but you, you probably already know that. Uh, Was that a joke? Maybe. It was almost, but I heard it. What do you want? Garden, engine room, or bedroom? There's more in the garden. Uh, let's go to the bedroom. Okay. Maybe we can have sex. We just did the bedroom last episode, and so we're going to finish it off this episode. You know what that means is that we're never going to get to go to the bedroom again in our lives. Last time we were here in this last episode, I was talking about dark matter. You you were, right as we went through the door, <laughs> in fact. Dark matter. Dark That's poop. matter. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Dark okay. matter is poop. Oh, not Gusty Garden. I want to hear, even though it sucks. I hate this music. You know what? This one's actually really hard. Oh, yeah. I remember. Is this the one on the cube where the coins are on the cube? Yeah, purple coins on the puzzle cube. Oh, no. I hate this one. At least there's 150 think it'd be simple coins. In concept. 150 coins. It's one of those. I mean, it looks like it would be simple. It's just a fucking cube. Yeah. How many places could they hide it? <laughs> Did you see that Goomba chilling in the corner on that like last screen? He was just like standing there, like breathing heavy. He's like, uh, okay, okay. getting ready for Mario. He see, he's right there, right over there. Yeah. Oh, now he's walking around. But before he was just standing there. All they on. can make a whole game about that. What Goombas do when you're not around? You know what the people do on the galaxies when you're not there. Exactly. Do you know what enemy's so cool in uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 is like the dry Goombas? Oh yeah, and the fortress levels and shit. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, they have like dry everything. It's like yeah, cool. and then there's like the dry piranha plants, which are like really hard to kill. Yeah. And then there's the um, what is there? There's the dry. There's dry bones, but then there's like the big dry bones that you can't kill. Oh yeah, you, like... you got like ground pound them and they'll like fall yeah. apart. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you just bounce on them and their head jiggles like a bobblehead, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and they like laugh at you like. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the dry bones and all that shit like come, they come together faster, like they reanimate faster than they normally do. I haven't really paid attention. It's pretty scary. So I don't like dry bones much. Well, I do, as a character. He's really good on Mario Kart. We yeah, I like him. He is. I like to use the heavy characters though, so I use like Dry Bowser. Oh yeah, Dry Bowser is my favorite character. He's boss. Only because he's like the last one I unlocked, so he was like my favorite. Oh yeah, he's so cool too. He is. He's Dry fucking Bowser. Doesn't get cooler than that, really. I know. It's perfect. Dry Bowser. <laughs> It's a Bowser in the summertime. It's like a dry cock. Dry cock. I hate to see wet Bowser. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ew. That's gonna be the next Mario game, all the wet characters. Oh my, ew. Because oh. they just eat their pants. It's gonna be like the wet mushroom as a power up. Ugh. Wet toadette. Of course you gotta play as Princess Peach. Oh my god, they time you on this one? What the balls? Well, that's what makes it a challenge. They wouldn't have 150 coins otherwise. Would you get away from the wall? Where did that even come from? I don't know. You were by a wall. I'm always by a wall. Exactly. By so nature, by nature, since I'm walking around a cube, at every floor is a wall. So therefore, my reference is always pertinent. Therefore, it's a good fallback. True. Oh wow, that was easier than I imagined. Oh my god, that fountain just jizzed that star. Yes. Now I just have to find that fountain. And the fountain jizzes in his pants. I'm sure there's some crazy people who want me to go for like all 150 coins or something stupid like that. I'm not gonna go there. No. You there's gotta admit though, it's always cool when there's like a counter or something and it says like out of a certain number and then you get more on the first number, so it's like 150 out of 100. That is awesome, like, yeah. You, know, you just went the distance. Went the ultimate. Ultimate. Oh, that's the end of the bedroom too. No more sex no. for us. No more sex with the Black Luma. Aww. Mario also never gets to sleep again because he can't. He, Why? No more access to the bed. So. Why do they call it the whole nine yards? Like, what's the meaning behind that phrase? Like, what is nine yards? That's how is that the whole the whole nine yards? I, you know what else is a, a, a stitch in time saves nine? Is that even a saying? That, what is that? That is a saying, and I I think it's like. I I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some random shit. Yeah. It's probably from like a Back to the Future movie or something. Uh, no, it's from like ye olde Britain. Or, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, those guys don't know shit. That's probably why. I heard it in a song one time. That's all I remember. Uh, 
But yeah, I can't think of anything that's like. Maybe it was the whole ten yards, and then somebody just modified it nine just to like just to be say, haha, ha, you yeah, you you almost went there, but you didn't. They're like, oh, you went the whole nine yards, and then it just became a thing, you know. Exactly, and they're like, oh damn it. <laughs> well, shit, this doesn't make sense anymore. Oh well. Do I at least get royalties on that? Loyalties. <laughs> Do I get loyalty on that? <laughs> You've got my loyalty. Yeah. Are you saying that like, can I get fries with that? Can I get loyalty with that? Can I get some fucking loyalty with that? No, yes, sir. We're very loyal to you. I want some goddamn proof. Oh, yeah? Give me 30 ketchup packets if you're loyal. Sir, we just can't do that. Are you fucking loyal? Give me 30 ketchup packets. I can't do Melty Molten yet. Why not? It's that hard. It's really fucking hard. Oh, I think I remember that one, yeah. So we're going to go down to the engine room instead. Fuck, I missed. Oot. Shoot. I missed. But I can fall back up because it's okay. See? Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh, I missed. Yeah, that's the reference. That's it. That was so clever. Yep. That was no. so clever. It just might work. Don't have to say another word because that was just so goddamn funny. Shoot two star bits first chance you get. You son of a. Okay. You son of Boom. a sea slide. Yes. Thirteen thirty-seven. Oh my god. And this well, random number it doesn't mean anything. And now sea slide. You remember how how beach bowl is really bad. Th this is worse. This is worse. Purple coins by the seaside. Uh, uh, you well, know, one time at work, like, some lady ordered something, and then um, it came to a total of something something, and then she gave me a 20, and then the change was 1337, and I'm like, your change is 1337, and then I went, <laughs> like, giggled a little bit, and then she, like, looked at me like I was the biggest retard in the world, and I was like, and I was like, well, sorry, here you go. And then I like, give her a change, and I'm like, what's the balls, dude? Like, how, I mean, come on, everybody knows that. Yeah, who Even doesn't know that? Like, know that? Like, my grandma probably knows that. She doesn't know what a computer is. So I remember is. I had to, like, yeah, I remember I had to tweet about it. And I'm like, the lady didn't get the 1337, now I feel stupid. <laughs> but it's okay. It made me feel young. It made me feel good. You know, it would be funny if someone replied to that tweet, and they're like, what's 1337? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't get it. What is 1337? <laughs> you're probably, like, like wall oh, scrub. What if that lady was actually like a subscriber of mine and she's like, It was me. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that old lady with Jim Carrey. Speaking of it was me, it smells like somebody farted in here and I don't know who it was because it wasn't me. Have, ever, have any of your farts ever smelled good? No, I don't think so. No. I mean, there's like, it's either you smell it and it's bad or you just don't smell it. Therefore, it's not bad. That's so, true. That's, really, that's the only two options. But it's not yeah, really. good because it's just nothing. So... Exactly. Well, it's better than it could be bad. It's good compared to what it could be. That's true. Bottom so, line is it comes from your ass. It's never going to not smell. Exactly. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you bleach it and you just eat fucking pies and rainbows. It's never going to smell good. We have empirically tested this. We've eaten pies and rainbows for weeks on end just to test it. Yeah. And don't ask us how we can eat rainbows because you goddamn know you can. Taste the rainbow. Yeah. I mean, if you chase the rainbow long enough, you have to get there eventually. I remember that uh, that Skittles commercial. It was like the best Skittles commercial. The guys are like sitting on the rainbow, chilling, eating Skittles. And the guy's like, "Have you ever thought that we're not really sitting on a rainbow right now? What if this is not real?" And then like before he finishes his sentence, the rainbow just like drops him. <laughs> and he just like falls. He's like, ah! And they're like, scrub. Oh, he's like laughing God. at him. They're like, Pfft. they're like, believe the rainbow, taste the rainbow. <laughs> what if oh. this isn't? Ah! What if no? I think I remember that one actually. It was a while ago. And it does that cool thing where if you're gonna drop somebody, you always do it. It's like, it just like falls like at a 90 degree angle, just like, like a little door flap. Serious. It just falls. It's like a rainbow doesn't act like that. It's not a door flap. Dude, old commercials are the best. They are like the house hippo. Yes, that's an that's like an infomercial sort of. Not really, but it's a it PSA. Like a PSA. Yeah. yeah. Concerned what is it a children. PSA for? Yeah, it was concerned children's advertisers. Cause they were concerned well, that what, what that kids that for? they were concerned that kids were taking things on CV too seriously. So oh, okay. so they like, <laughs> so like after the house hippo thing, they like said, oh well, did you believe this? Well, you shouldn't, you dumbass, or something. <laughs> and but TV. but no one paid attention to the last part. Everyone just wanted to find a house hippo. It totally exactly. it worked it in the exact opposite way they wanted. 
That's the classic instant of backfiring right there. Exactly. Fuck. They're like, well, shit, nobody paid attention the last 10 seconds. <laughs> exactly. Because it's like, like the first 10 sec, the, not the first 10 sec, like the first half, the awesome part with like the house hippo, it has like this awesome dude's voice. He has like the perfect voice for the thing. And then like the last 10 seconds, that's like the actual important part they want you to listen to. It's just some whiny bitch. It's like. Exactly. It's so you automatically tune it out. You're just like, oh, fuck her. Yeah. Before you even get to that part anyway, most kids would just be like, Mom, Mom, House Hippo! You gotta find the House Hippo! <laughs> exactly. And like, what are you talking about? And I was like, this guy on TV told me so. It was real. You gotta be honest. Did you start looking for a House Hippo after that? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I always... What does it say it eats? Did it say it eats, like, your socks or something? No, it eats, like, it eats crumbs from peanut butter toast or something. <laughs> <laughs> you started eating peanut butter toast more and leaving crumbs and then come back to see if they were still there. Exactly. Mom, the peanut butter crumbs aren't there. Yeah, that's because I vacuumed them up. Shit. Leave them there next time. Yeah, and so I went to look inside the vacuum for the house hippo. <laughs> <laughs> see if he was eating the crumbs. Exactly. You know, I think I think for the rest of my life I'll always just subconsciously be looking for house hippos. Like, normally things you wouldn't even do, like, a double take for, you'd just be doing it now. Like, crumbs on the floor. Exactly. Being gone, just be like, <gasps> like, I'll, like, they have to be real somewhere in this universe. I mean, yeah, where else did they get that footage? I mean, come on, think about it. Yeah, they, like, they couldn't... There's no real hippos that small. Yeah, and you can't just, like... You can't just size a hippo down to that small in Photoshop. I've tried it, it doesn't work. No. Nope. It gets all discombobulated and shit. Yeah, and then, on top of that, making it move, making the hippo move... No. Exactly. Like, it's impossible. Yeah, and the movements were so realistic. You can't, you can't fake that. And this was like back in the fucking nineties. So like. Yeah, like computers barely even existed, man. <laughs> so you can't expect me to believe that house hippos aren't real. And I mean, come on, we're LPers. We're the top of the line, technical people here. If we can't do it, they can't. So. I know. Like I couldn't do that with MS Paint. So. Yeah. So obviously they can't. And MS Paint is the most advanced editing program out there. So. I know. That's what I used to edit all my videos. Yeah, me too. Fun fact, we're not even actually playing this game right now. We're just we're, we're, we're drawing, painting frame yeah. by frame. Yeah, in MS we're Paint. drawing this game. <laughs> and we're not tracing either. Nope. It's really it's hard to like, stay between the lines sometimes. Yeah. yeah if, you, if you're really smart, you would have caught some of the like, mishaps here See, and there. Originally, and every once in a while, I would write ass in the sand. So, oh, yeah. But originally, this star stream was gonna be like it was gonna be like a bunch of different colors. But then, like the the yellow bleeded onto like over one of the lines, so we had to make the whole thing yellow. Exactly. So. Yeah. Which is really stupid because Mario is also yellow. So. What are you gonna do? Remember that one time I wrote ass on like a wall in a server in Minecraft, <laughs> yes! and I got and I got kicked out. That was great. <laughs> kicked out for being like ass. rude or something. It was yeah. the funniest wording too of how you got like banned or not. And Not I bang. swear she didn't see me either, because I ran away as soon as I wrote ass in the gold <laughs> blocks. And then she totally knew. But then I just came back. Exactly. That's, that's the stupid thing about it, is you can just come back no matter what. Just like, oh. Because they can only kick you. Yeah. But hell, what's life? Life ain't worth living if you can't write ass on the wall every once in a while. Yeah. That's just asinine. <laughs> that's the, uh... Yeah, I got nothing. A stitch in time saves, a saves asinine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The whole ass yards. <laughs> the whole. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I feel I'm so I'm so afraid that like in that whole long journey just now for purple coins, like I missed one somewhere. Well, that's the awesome thing about being able to go back. It's just you can do it. But what if I can't go back? What if I fall off and die? What if I fall along the way? If Take I go crazy, away. would you still call me Superman? I don't normally call you Superman. If I'm Bro. alive and well, will you still be there holding my hand? Are you referencing a song? No, I'm serious. Will you? In that case, I'm not sure. Alright, we'll get back to that. We've been through continue so on. little we'll continue together. continue on with the episode. We'll continue on with the episode in the meantime. Yeah. But I want to hear back from you on that. Dude, I only have six, like 60 purple coins, almost. Yeah, I know. We've been doing this little forever. <sighs> it's like... What? You sound like Napoleon Pedro. Dynamite just then. Gross! Freaking idiot! God, that's why oh. I said over Pedro. <laughs> oh no! The only thing is, I can never watch that movie because I hate tater tits. Do you? Yeah, they're gross. 
Ew. I don't know why. I Ew. love like every form of potatoes except for tater tots. And hash browns. I don't like hash browns either. Yeah, so hash browns. that minced and processed oh, form yeah. like hash that. Hash browns are gross, man. They are, yeah. But I love fries. Especially like McDonald's hash browns. Like. Oh, yeah. No, McDonald's hash browns is what turned me off of hash browns in the first place. I used to love them. I don't oh, know you've told them, you've told me a story them. before, and you like th threw up in a car, or something. Oh yeah, did I tell you this story on Skype or was it in a video? I don't remember. Well, we'll tell it again just in case. Yeah, like I was like five, so I couldn't decide whether or not I liked food or not, you know. So I tried a hash brown. We were sitting in the back of my mom's Camaro on the way to Disneyland or somewhere. So I ate it, and then like I got really carsick because I was a little kid. But I've always been like I always get carsick really easily, and then I ended up throwing up the hash brown. And out of all the things I've thrown up in my life, which has been a lot. It was the grossest thing I've ever thrown up in my life to this day, and I remember it vividly, and I was like five, and it was so gross, I'll never eat hash browns again. Ever. Oh god, that's a traumatic experience. And then like one time at this zoo, I ate like a, a, a some kind of meat burrito, like with big chunks of meat, <laughs> and then like we went on this ride, and it, the park was like so ghetto, it was like you could tell, it's like one of those carnivals that come to town that they construct within like a day or so, mm -hmm. so everything's like really sketchy, you know? I like the Calgary so, like, Stampede? Exactly. Or like, yeah, we have carnivals in like our parking lots here that people just, it's like a traveling place that puts up all these huge attractions in a day. And you know they can't, you, they can't do it right in a day. They, they skip steps. Oh, yeah. So anyway, the guy was like, I was in the car. I was, it was a two person car. I was in it with my friend and they like spin you in the air. It like goes up in the air and shit. And then every time as we'd pass by the ride guy, who's some guy who got hired for minimum wage, some long haired hippie guy. And then my friend's like, faster, faster. And I'm like, dude, I just ate a bean burrito. You don't want to do that or be free to. He's like, faster, faster. So the guy kept going faster and faster. And eventually, in the air, I just threw up. And the meat chunks just went all over my friend's legs. And I was like, I told you. Oh, and I just like, kept throwing up on him because the oh, guy God. wouldn't stop the ride. And he, yeah, and that one was pretty bad, but not as bad as the hash brown. Jeez. Did you see how I couldn't hit that question mark box back there? I did. You were, you know, I, I, didn't know was, I didn't know you couldn't hit those as a bee. A bee? Seems weird. Speaking of like throwing up at like a carnival or whatever, uh, at Callaway Park, which is like an amusement park, like a like a legit amusement park, like nearby near Calgary, it's like a few like minutes outside. Set up and shit. Yeah, it's always set up and it's just like open during the summers and fall, basically every time except winter. Uh -huh. And it's like um, they, there's this one ride there. I don't know if it's still there actually. I should go. I have never haven't been there in a few years. But like there's this one ride there that's like basically all it is. It's one of those like uh things where you stand up on the sides of this big circle and there's like a bunch of spots and you like you like oh, spin yeah, around and around and, and you get like stuck to the walls yeah, yeah. exactly and it's, and they said it's like the perfect speed so that if you th if you if you threw up then it would go it would go around and like it would hit you in the face yeah yeah it would land exactly <laughs> on you it's so perfect it's like how do yeah. you even engineer something that awesome yeah, there's something like that at, our, at one of our theme parks too, Great America, and it's like, they, yeah, they say the same thing, so like, I was gonna try and test it and spit, and like, just see if it like, landed back on me, but I was so afraid that it would just hit somebody else, and they like, they kill me, so I just didn't try it, but I remember those, and like, kids, they put like, one seatbelt in front of you, right, and that's like, all that holds you, right, like, right across yeah. your waistline, and like, these, there were these crazy guys, like, as it was going, they were like, like, flipping themselves out of it, and like, going upside down, I was just like, you guys are crazy, man. That is pretty insane. You know, there's actually a, a similar ride to that in like at the Calgary Stampede, except instead of, it's like a not just like a ring, it's like a sort of like orb thing, and like um it's like all enclosed and shit, and they don't have like things to hold you down, except, for, except like the only thing that's holding you to the wall is like the G force, and oh, so, yeah. and so you can actually you can actually like it lets you climb around on the walls, like climb oh, up the cool. walls. It's so great. It's so fun. Every time I go, and then I the ride just like breaks and everybody falls and like <laughs> hits into each other. Pretty much, yeah. Big clusterfuck. Yeah, you, that's the thing is you have to realize when it's slowing down so that you like get down. So low you have enough. to hold on, yeah. It's like ridiculous, but it's so much fun. I well, know, I've always like kind of steered away from rides like that because oh, you got it! Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, I got it a little while ago. We successfully managed to f f figure out enough filler commentary to get us through this. This is probably my least Long favorite purple coin in the entire game, so... Yeah, even so, even though we, like, it seems like it went by fast, I can still tell it took a while. It did, yeah. Is this the only one we did in the video? No, we did another one. Right? We did, uh, the, the cube. Puzzle cube. Oh, yeah, but that one was quick. That one was, like, three, four minutes. Exactly. 
Why did he put the star up here? You motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> top of that thing looks like a sombrero or something. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. There's gotta be a cloud around here where we can just get on, right? Yeah, there's one right there. Was, uh, there was something... Shit. Oh yeah, I was gonna like, I was talking about when you said, when I said it, a bee. I was oh, gonna say, like, if you were a bee, you know how like, if they sting people, they die or whatever? Yeah. So like, what would you do if you were a bee and say you were like, say you were intelligently, say you like had the same intelligence as you do now, so you like had a good understanding of what would happen. So I knew, knew I would die if I die. Snows, right. So like, how, what would you do? Would you just like never sting somebody or like if somebody pissed you off? Like, how would you go about it? I don't know. I, I would be like so like protective of my like behind. Stinger. Because I would, I would just be like watching all the time to make sure I didn't like get caught on something. <laughs> Or would you like be like, man, being a bee sucks. I want to get reborn as a human, so let me sting the first fucker I see, you know? Like, <laughs> see, the problem with that is, what if reincarnation isn't real, <laughs> and I just kill myself and I like disappear into the void? If that's true, that would suck to be like one of those animals that just has like 24-hour lifespan, you know? Like a like a fly or something. Like a fly, yeah, that would suck. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's just 24 hours. That's it. That's all you get. That's your shot, and then you're done. Whatever you amount to in that amount of time. You know what would be done. funny is if reincarnation like is real and you're a fly and like you live your life and you like lay your eggs or whatever and uh and then you die and then you get reincarnated as one of the eggs that you laid. Oh man. That would inception. be amazing. Oh my god, you give if birth you're, to If you were able to like retain your memory you'd be so screwed, yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's why I always feel bad like killing animals, like what if that's somebody I know, like that passed away that's like reincarnated, you know? Okay. Or like, what if I was reincarnated into a fly, and then, like, my kids kill me, you know? Like, smack me, because I fly over there to see them or something, you know? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I feel oh so bad. God. They're like, God damn it, die! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've rambled for so long. I'm pretty sure that's what all these Purple Coin missions are turning into, is just rambling. Like, us, because well, yeah, there's cause really nothing to talk about. It's so self-explanatory, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's the same old thing. Get 100 Purple Coins, and you're done. Exactly. So, as I set up this guy for next episode, um... Thanks everyone for watching, mm -hmm. or I guess more listening than anything. Yeah, you probably weren't watching. I know yeah. I wasn't. I mean, Obviously. you guys, most of you <laughs> have probably seen this a million times, which makes me question the whole LP of super popular game thing in the first place. Anyway, whatever. We're not going to get into that discussion here. Maybe next time. Not yet. No. <laughs> Anyways, talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.